but that's a fun game. That's a fun little game. What other two-player games do we have in uh, Or do we have any uh, in the old... In, in, in the old uh, folder there. It's Killing Time. Uh-huh. You could watch me play through like the first part of Killing Time. I have to do better than I can, sure. Maybe. <laughs> I, I did a preplay. Of, I did weak. a preplay of uh, a few weeks ago. I did a preplay of Killing Time and uh, oh, okay, well. and uh, got got only so far. Well, let's just yeah, okay, here, here, here. Let's Jesus, easier for me to get over here. And I can. Yes, we have a triple feature for you today. We're gonna play a little bit of Killing Time, the intro to Killing Time. And this is a game I thought didn't have like the strongest opening in terms of like its enemies. I mean, it's not as bad as like. Mm -hmm. The frogs and flies in Daikatana. Uh, let's start off that <laughs> oh, game. Ooh, harsh. But uh, I wouldn't have gone with uh, duck. I mean, I, I find it hysterical because my dad's a duck hunter, mm -hmm. and so you know the whole thing. Uh, people, but people say it's like, oh, the the ducks, man. I hate those because they 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 peck you or something like that. And it's like, Yes, we saw this uh, last week at the end of last week. So if you didn't see that, skip all the way to the end of last week, and you can see this intro movie. <laughs> Any funny options on this one? Controls, control pad. Oh, I guess you had the option of using the flight stick with this one for true analog action. Yeah, I'm not sure how much that. I will, I probably would have helped a lot with aiming because the frame rate is just. Hang on, sit here. Sit back down next to the microphone. Um. The frame rate in Killing Time is just off enough that it's tough to get a bead because you'll slide over things. It's tough to get an aim on things. So an analog controller would have been uh, an improvement. Uh, Larry Reed, Al Toffinelli, hey. Bob Vieira on the, on the music. John Loop, who helped out. Nikki Robinson, who went on to do Army Men. John Height. Stephen Henry Biscop. Yay, Liz Beatrice. They were both uh, artists on... Um, Monster Manor. Peter Carlson's got one. Wow. Wow. Ed Rotberg. He's a good guy. Speaking of Bowser. <laughs> yep. Or is that Ed Log? Or, uh, both, or both of them, maybe. I, both of them, I think. Okay. But it's been a while. Introduction video director, Liz Beatrice. Very nice. Here on this island. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. And then the. <laughs> Here on this town. Why isn't it play? I thought during the credits it played the uh, that you know here on this time tractor, little jazzy number that they have in there uh, with the toot sweet. Is that does is that Bob Vera's like group or something? No, that was another, that's another guy's group. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember. So I'm blanking on his name. If we're looking at the direct, we're looking at the credits, and I'm blanking on his name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Creature sculptor, wardrobe costume. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, because there was a whole yeah, there was all that video that they had to shoot. Yeah, and they yeah they actually shot those. Uh... Lise Bruno. I wonder what she's done lately. Expecting to you know, find somebody like who's really famous nowadays, like <laughs> Liam Neeson. <What> the... <laughs> <laughs> Special thanks, Kim Tempest. Yeah. Order two sweet albums. Hmm. <laughs> oh, get, get yourself oh, great. Yes. Oh, God, let's go. Should we call it? <laughs> let's call it. <laughs> hey, wait, I got that mysterious call from that 415 number earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, are there... I'm surprised that there's no... Uh... Wow. That there's no uh, previews on this disc. You know? Uh, that is a little surprising. Not that I think I'm going to be... Does this thing... Auto of course, they don't, uh, they don't auto-save, do they? They... Yeah, clear. You think they would sign that just one of the buttons, you know? Like, clear. Well, there is, well there's clear that's scrolling off of there. Oh, well, anyway. oh, well. Yeah, but I mean, it's just, like, automatically say, oh, by the way, the B button automatically is a backspace. Yeah, they... This, was, this took is, me a little while to figure out, that's too. That's not the best fault in yeah. the world. <laughs> Actually, you probably wanted to set the difficulty to easy, but... Okay, so... You want me? I can quit. Here we are. No, no, no. Okay. Help me. 
help me. Please, gather my spiritual essence from the different symbols which lie around this island. Word. <laughs> and then, invisible wall. Yeah. Vaguely annoying sticker bush. Stay like away from Tess. She's trouble. Real trouble. Mm. Duncan will tell you. Already conflicting info already. Oops. Oh, C is open doors. Huh? Mm -hmm. Actual okay, three-dimensional so, doors instead yeah. of the standard sliding 2D one. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of cute. I'm going to need you down at the dock tonight. We're expecting another shipment of arms. Well, boss, where am I going to put all this stuff? I mean, the storage room is almost full. I can't even walk in there. I guess you'll just have to stash it around the ground. I'm going to need you down at the dock tonight. <laughs> so if you back away, it starts over again. Yeah, I, I mean, where am I going to put all this stuff? I mean, the storage room is almost full. Still, pretty slick. Yeah. You'll just have to stash it around the grounds. Well, I don't like it. I mean, booze was one thing, but guns, I, I don't know. Quit worrying, Mike. Our new associates from Chicago will be here this evening to take the guns off the island. They will pay us handsomely for the arms. They have new contacts. We can expand. This yeah. is only the beginning. And this is why there's crates of ammo lying all over the place. Unfortunately, some of the crates of ammo, cramped ammo explode when you walk up to them and try and open them. Yep. So you see, so you see what I mean about the frame rate? It's just a little, yeah, quite off. Not too bad. I've I've seen I've seen worse on my laptop when trying to play. <laughs> That's more. It's more. My main problem is I'm just not used to a D-pad much anymore. Mm. You're still See, stuck. I'm, yeah. See, I keep wanting to use the, the shoulder uh, buttons. The shoulder button to turn. It, um, you mean to strafe or to turn? To turn. Oh. Because I, because, just that's what I was just doing when return fire. So oh, okay. Like, yeah. Oh, for the helicopter, right? Yeah. The heli the, the shoulder buttons uh, turn to the helicopter. Like, yeah. yeah. And and left right with strafe essentially which is like why would you do that <laughs> ooh depth queuing oh. <laughs> hey I had that I know <laughs> now if you had the uh... so w which one was the map button again Actual map support, as opposed to me, which is kind of crufted in after the fact. So right about now, we should be introduced to our first enemy. We got plenty of health. We got plenty of stuff. We got. Mm -hmm. And like so a duck sees you. He calls the hunters essentially, but then you can just run see, right I over him. See, I thought. Him. See, until you told me, uh, we were discussing the game a couple days ago, and until you told me, I thought you had to shoot them. So I spent all my time in this in this outer garden shooting the ducks. Um, but it's certainly much more fun to um, to walk over them. <laughs> Squish. I wonder what that sound is like, what they're just twisting like a wet towel or something. Yeah. Because I thought I thought they nibbled at your ankles and just you know took away your took away your health. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Don't, pick, don't pick up the red ones. The red ones are bad. They're evil souls. The, the evil, they're they're evil. Yeah. So sometimes when you shoot something, a um, oh you got the shotgun. When you uh, the, a a little orb will appear above them, and if they're a greenish jewel tone, you know like purple, Ooh. like he's just walking over there. Um, then they add health, but if they're red, they will hurt you. Um, and then, but all of them will disappear after a short time. So if you've like, so sometimes what you end up having to do is like you're like really low on health. You shoot something in the hopes that a green thing will appear above them, but you have to like rush in and get it, which exposes you to everyone else in the room. Um, okay, now this might explode on you. Of course. Like that. Yeah, so you have to back away while you hit the button to open it. Nope. And yes, uh, there are a couple of these walls. What he's trying to do is he's trying to see if any of these walls open, and a couple of them do, but I can't. Quack, quack, quack. Ow! Owie. 
the exploding that's crate. A, yeah, that's another the nice thing is sometimes you can use the crates as like bombs in the middle of a room to, you know, clear out the room. What's the reload button? Is there one? Uh, there is one, I think, but I don't. It doesn't really well, come into play. I think it. I think it automatically reloads. Yeah, controls. What's this configuration is what you're looking for. I don't know if you can change it from you here. You can't change it. That's no. guys, not the best UI design. 1995. Uh, no. There wasn't exactly a UI um, interface for yeah, Doom but it's not either. Like, well, it's not like yeah. Well, it's not like. You can get him. You only have uh, so the number of shots you have for the currently wielded gun is on the left, lower left, and your current health is in the lower right. And those little wing-like shapes, um, those little the little uh, quadrilateral areas, light up depending on uh, which bits you have of Tess's soul, and which um, w whether or not you have like yeah. There you go. That was a friendly one. Uh, and it, ugh, yeah. Sometimes there are red ones just floating there, and they're part of the map. You just have to avoid them. Um, and it's, yeah, so I think the bits of Tessa's soul show up on the right. Oh, very dark. Yeah, it's, that's a, yeah, that's another. Way. Even like I tried playing this at night with the th brightness totally cranked, and I it's still very hard to see. You, yeah, I think you just need to adjust your your thing. Um. So yeah, um, the bits of Tessa's soul appear on the right, and the various quest items that you need. For example, um, right now we're in the garden, but we're trying to find our way to the main house. But in order to get into the main house, you need an invitation. Uh, and once you get the invitation, then a little a little square will light up saying, you have the invitation, so you can get in the house. So stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, that's that's, her, that's, that's one of that's one of Tessa's tree. things. One of the uh, where's that vases. Duck? Where's the duck? Where's the duck? Where's the duck? Where is he? Vases. This is, this is probably why. Uh, this is probably what medium difficulty is all about. So yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Whoa! Shoot at me. Dickweed. Ah, how do I switch weapons? Um, oh god. Um, B, I think. It's, oh no, um, both shoulder buttons at the same time. I am. Damn. I am doing both shoulder buttons at the same time. I picked up the jar. Your status display is off. Oh, alright. Ah, and you're kind of hurting on health. Oh, man. Um, strike button. I'm strafing. I'm doing everything. Oh, there's. Oh man. Change. Oh man. I'm sorry. It's oh, it, it's it's a two button combo. Try, um, I am doing like a, a and B at the same time, A and C at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. You can zoom out. A and C. Okay. All right. Sorry. A and B at the same time. Now I need health. Gamma Dev needs help badly. Oh, great. <laughs> Is that was a zero sum win? game? <laughs> was it a net win? Yeah. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, and now you see the little purple flashing thing. That means you have. Oh, and I'm also. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in sad shape. No, I mean, it won't let me continue with that. What do you mean? It, won't let, move. it won't let me move. Really? With the, with the display up? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what's going Whoa, on. Whoa, did I just back through a wall? No. There was, was just there was a hole there. But yeah, I think you have to backtrack and look for leftover think, health. I don't think I have any health. That I missed. Help if I could see. <laughs> It's too dark. Yeah. 
Um, it's it gets even worse when you get inside the house and you've got these rooms full of guys shooting at you, only half of whom you can see. And I don't know. I'm pretty sure. You, yeah, I even zoom the map out. Um, I suppose I go all the way back to the beginning. There was probably there's, a few there's, little... there's a few there's a few orbs left, but. Yes, you know, your best bet might be to uh, rush. You know, it's just like pick pick off uh, guys at a distance and then rush forward in hopes that they drop some health. I would do that if I could see them, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's a little dark. You crank the brightness of the TV up in? I don't think it'll help. Uh, well. Yeah, it would. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Plus, I don't know where that controller is. <laughs> Why don't I bring my harmony with me? It works with every TV. No, I think that's it. You're heading back to the. No, that's it. You picked them all up. No, I didn't. Unless, uh, the, one, the ones in the corner here? I think you've got them. No, you got both of those. Yeah, you're heading back to the... Uh... I guess when I left a little string of them. Unless they, uh, they fade. Now the ones that are part of the map tend... To, I don't think they fade. I think you picked them up already when you were getting tapped by the... By the... Hey! Oh, that's right, you're in a different part of the map. So, it's only showing you... When you hear the uh, the soundtrack change, then you will have changed to a new new area of the map. And then hopefully it will have remembered everything you saw. There you go. So now, there it is. <laughs> like open up, bastards. So I mean, I could go over to the far right over here and mm -hmm. see what I can do. Yeah, even on easy mode, this game is pretty unforgiving. There's still ducks around here? There is a benefit to having more buttons. Yes. Two joysticks. Which we don't have. Bam. Jerk. Oh. Quick. Oh, you little fucker. Damn. Nah. Red. Where'd that leave you? I'm guessing 15 or so. Eight. Oh, man. And that's... there is some bug I can't move. Can't move with that set. That's, nope. That's very odd. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. I had to hit both shift buttons and the B button. Hmm. Not that that helps. I wonder, not I wonder, I wonder what state uh, that they got stuck in. Fuck you. <laughs> Your lack of soul. Your no vital essence. What is it? Now I have to crawl through this like a little bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Secret door or something, man. Yeah, I don't think you're... I? I'm only aware of two in this area. And yeah, there's... <sighs> That's not one of them. That's actually something that I spent a little time. The tuning of how the controls react and how quickly they turn you and move you is something I spent some time tuning in Monster Manor. It's actually made them command line options because I kept getting people. Get, I, For those I kept of you who hook a keyboard up to your 3D. <laughs> <laughs> I kept getting. Um, 
well, I mean, <laughs> everyone who was testing the game had the yes, Mac dev, yes, you know, yes, yes. debugger going. Again, is that useful on a Mac? You don't have a cutesy little button to click as a clown juggles over to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I, I, I made it a command line option to say, well, you know, you know. Oh, is this the big? Oh, it is. Oh wait, is this? Yeah, just run over them all. Just... <laughs> I'll probably hit some freaking red. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that in 3D, baby. Too many polys for all that. <laughs> ah! 10%. A duck is worth freaking 10%? Well, de depending. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Thanks. Thank you, fucking duck. Oh, quick. 23. Evil duck. Bet you taste terrible. 28. <laughs> Showing off the uh, audio power of the 3 do Yeah. We have a DSP, and damn it, we're going to use it. Nope. Where are you at? 38. That's it. Well, that helped. Okay. There's right a couple, right. yeah, there's a couple of them, um, but that's a, I believe that's a dead end. Any secrets or anything? Bring that up on the map. No secret walls or anything. No, like this crack it means something. No, no, no. The crack, the cracks, in my experience, aren't significant. It's decorations on the wall yeah. that are significant. Yeah, if I remember correctly. So yeah, so I don't know if they did the same tuning uh, that they on movement uh, that I did. Uh, That's why they didn't just steal it. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, why? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you take the Monster Manor code, start with it? And I then, think uh, what they actually started yeah. with was the um, John's. John's not a j um, running through the uh, what the hell was it? Um, running away from the Velociraptors in the complex code in Jurassic Park Interactive. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to run. You have to run around and like shut doors behind you, and um, and so I think they used a fair amount of that code um, partly because I think they had floors <laughs> and my code didn't yeah but still you could just do like people like the movement code from mm -hmm. but they could look up and down <laughs> so I think I have to go to the right there to get the invitation um, yeah but I think you have to I think you have to actually get it off of um, a hunter oh, sorry Oh, that's something else. They also change color. Forty-eight. He also alerted his buddies. That's some pretty sophisticated. They don't, they don't have a. They don't have a. Whoa. <laughs> back through the wall there. Oh, um. So up at the top there, yeah. that little. I think that's one of that's them. That's a secret. I yeah. think that's one of them. If I'm remembering correctly, during my last play. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a thing that has a slightly phallic look to it, so I think that... Uh, oh, yes, and if you shoot these, then they explode and take out most of the ducks. Where is he? Ah, uh, wrong. Jerk. Okay. 13. 18. And I missed my health. 28. Where is he? There he is. Seriously, brightness. <laughs> Didn't you remember when TV? Oh yeah, obviously. Didn't you remember when TVs had uh, controls built into them? Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> they had buttons on them and dials. And <laughs> it's like where's the remote? Yeah, exactly. I don't want to go through the twenty layers of menu that somebody put in. Uh, let's see here. Let's at least get to the mansion. Hmm. 
mansion's actually the other way. I, well, I know, but I need. I assume the invitation is nowhere near the mansion because then you get right. the butler who comes. Come back when you have an invitation, scum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a clever person might just get one from somebody. <laughs> Oh, loading different section. Yeah. Outer patio. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe invitation this is to death. maybe this oh, is oh invitation to death. So yeah. So either this is where I get the invitation, or this is where I need the invitation. And I don't have it. No, this is no. This is where you get it. Okay. Seamless loading. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm still not sure how they did that. Oh, hard. Just make sure you have a hallway. That's uh, long enough to have the rest of the map stream in. There he is. Quick, 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 move up. What? Get, it's, you got it. What was that? There was a little. I saw a little thing on the ground that said RSVP. Oh. So yes, now you have the invitation. How am I not hitting him? I assume I actually could probably switch back to the shotgun, couldn't I? Bakum. No, I'm sorry. Bakum. I have a flak jacket. <laughs> Is there any point in me going through here other than to get the 100%? Uh, other, than, well, other, other than to get to 100%, no. I mean, there's a way into the house through the back door, so to speak, if you keep following this. Hmm. Um, but no, just, just like pick up more ammo and. And if lose you're, more, if lose you're, more oh, health. Actually, you know, if you keep going, you can pick up um, a second pistol, and you can dual wield pistols. Uh. Ah. Eight percent. One percent. Where is he? Eleven. Great. That was fucking zero sum game. How am I missing this fucker with a fucking shotgun? Walk through the walls. He is a ghost. And of course, there's no save. Or anything. Nope. Oh, there's literally no save. Um, no, actually, it's, it's, you you're able to pull up the control panel in the middle of the game. That's where you can save. Ah, no. but it doesn't. It's not save anywhere, though, is it? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, as far sure. as I as far as oh. I remember. <laughs> Would have done that then. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh well. So I got the invitation. Totally useless. Because uh, because it, it didn't save. It's not one of those games. It's one of the... <laughs> But normally has like save points that you can only like up. Oh, I'm only, only at the level load or whatever. I wonder how much NV RAM did you use up? <laughs> Where are we? Where are we at? Uh, apparently, we've been running for almost two hours. Whoa, really? Yeah. Wow. Time flies. You're going to have to, yeah, fuck, no, out so of, have to like, the fuck out of this. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's maybe speed up through the um, return fire stuff. I don't know. But um, I don't know. Yeah. It's, you can only do so much by uh, cutting in a uh, test card. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's like we've been edited. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for joining us for this highly edited uh, <laughs> sampler of our own version of the 3DO sampler in terms of playing. The... <laughs> yeah. These are a few of our favorite games. Yeah. Although, well, killing time's okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We can't, John. We can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I guess uh, we're just as interested uh, to see how this comes out as you were. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thank you all for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.